Well, let's return to our top story now. Pakistan's former Prime Minister Imran Khan has addressed the nation from a hospital in Lahore a day after he was attacked by a gunman. Let's go straight to Islamabad and join our correspondent there, Sahar Balogh. Um, Sahar, what did uh, Mr Khan have to say then in this address? Uh, well, Imran Khan basically spoke about uh, the charges against him and basically asked his supporters to stand by because he's soon going to give a call and after which, you know, they ha they'll have to come to Islamabad. Uh, so he, he looked like, you know, in very good spirits as well and he spoke for more than uh, an hour uh, when he was uh, speaking. So he has uh, named three people who he accuses uh, as uh, the people behind the attack on him. So one, he has named the Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif. The second person that, that he has named is the Interior Minister Rana Sanaullah and the third person that he has named is the Major General of ISI uh, named uh, Mr. Fessel. Uh, so these are the three names that he, uh, three people that he accuses of conspiring against him and at the same time he has said that until and unless these three people resign from their office, his supporters should continue the protest uh, across Pakistan. And just remind us what it is that Mr. Khan and his supporters are trying to achieve. What's behind their protests? Well, Imran Khan uh, has been going on about this long march for seven days now. So this long march was going on uh, for seven days and it, uh, the entire plan was that it will start from Lahore and it will come to Islamabad and then, Islam uh, then uh, Imran Khan will ask for uh, early elections. Uh, and at the same time, he has been speaking about like how he, uh, like this march is going to be a conclusive one. Uh, this has been going on uh, since April this year, uh, since Imran Khan was ousted from the parliament after a no-confidence vote against him. But Imran Khan says that there was some sort of a conspiracy against his rule uh, and he has been uh, naming this a lot during his rallies and gatherings uh, and a lot of people he has been congregating since then uh, and this narrative has, has been you know been bandied about by Imran Khan a lot so today uh, you know in this address that he was uh, giving online uh, to a majority of his supporters he has asked them to stand by because as soon as he gets better uh, you know he will be back on the streets and he says that then they will start their march towards Islamabad. Uh, and uh, in terms of um, the people behind this uh, attack um, on him, do we know anything about them, their background? Uh, have they been arrested? And do we know anything, is it any clearer their motive? Uh, well, right now, uh, there is one gunman who has been arrested by the current government. And the information minister, Mariam Aurangzeb, has said uh, that they are trying to investigate what basically motivated this man uh, to carry out this attack. At the same time, uh, she also said and has asked uh, the PTI leadership to not make any irresponsible statements at this time because Imran Khan and his party, the PTI party, has been accusing the current government of conspiring against him, of planning this attack against him. And so there are a lot of statements that are going around. There is also one statement, two statements actually of the gunman uh, and you know where he has said that he was religiously motivated. In another he says that he did not like the way Imran Khan was misrepresenting facts. So there's a lot of confusion with regards to his statement as well. And at the same time these kind of statements which are taken uh, during police custody do not stand a chance in a court of law. So there's a lot of questions uh, that, that are being asked about you know the uh, originality or the strength of these statements as well. Uh, so a lot of confusion and a lot of questions right now are being raised. Okay, Sahar Baloch live in Islamabad. Thank you very much.